Hi, folks. Uh, I'm with uh, John Abbott of Abbott's Barbershop, a traditional barbershop in uh, Brisbane, Australia. And, uh, John, uh, you've got some exciting uh, information and uh, results from your activity over the past uh, two or three months. Yes, Greg, uh, we've, uh, as you know, we've been working with you now for about that period of time and I came to you because we were concerned that customer numbers were down as a result of, uh, you know, uh, 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 tenants vacating the shopping centre uh, and uh, I was looking for uh, guidance on how we can uh, reverse that, that trend and uh, get more customers coming through the door. So I'm happy to report that... Uh, all the activity we've been doing uh, certainly resulted in, resulting in uh, increased numbers steadily increasing uh, week by week. It just goes to show, doesn't it, John, that, that action speaks louder than words, doesn't it? Well, it certainly does, uh, Greg. I, you know, I, I made a uh, commitment to uh, act on your advice and... Uh, uh, and that's and that's what I've been doing, and and the results are there because I have taken the action. Okay, so just just for people listening, take us through what action and activity you've put in place. So we've run uh, various promotions. Um, uh, we've done uh, videos uh, where I've, you know, mar uh, stuck me me uh, mug in front of the camera and uh, and uh, done ads for my own business so uh, this has you know resulted in uh, yeah more more people seeing us and hearing of us uh, we're putting that out on, onto Facebook and Instagram and so on and uh, with posters in the shop that we've had designed to support various promotions that you you know we've come up with uh, and uh, yeah so it's just Staying, you know, getting it, and also just taking photographs. I've been more proactive with social media, just taking photographs and interviewing customers, asking questions like, why do you come here, and all that sort of stuff. So, take us through the numbers, John. Um, earlier this year, you said your numbers were down from uh, previous years in terms of number of, of customers. So we were down, we were down. Uh, uh, about uh, running down at about 17% on uh, previous years in custom in terms of customer numbers. Um, so uh, what we've done now is uh, we've we're all we've already reversed that trend, and so we're probably back to being down now only about uh, probably about seven percent. So we're certainly on the way back up to getting our customer numbers back up to where they were before, and that's with without any of the passing trade, because the passing trade here hasn't improved in our centre uh, at all. So we're getting more people driving to our shop specifically, just through uh, our uh, promotions. Mate, it just goes to show that that, uh, uh, that motion beats meditation every time, doesn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I mean, you could sit on your, your, your stool and, and complain about, uh, business going down and but nothing beats actually doing things and, and implementing uh, that's right that's right so we've taken action and Bob's your uncle some of the things we've tried haven't been uh, haven't had great response but just merely uh, in terms of the specific promotion uh, but uh, the fact that you're doing something and that you're out there has resulted in people coming in anyway uh, so we might have not have sold product A because we're, you know, uh, maybe that wasn't the right product to be selling or whatever. But we've still we've got product B moving uh, or service B moving because people have seen us and they're aware of us. So it, as long as you're doing something, I think it, it, exactly as long as you're doing something, that's 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 everything. I mean, mm. you had to get out of your comfort zone a bit to do. All of I, did. I did have to get out of my comfort zone, uh, but, uh, you know, I made a commitment to do it, so I just did it. And what was, the, what, what did you find uncomfortable? What was the most uncomfortable thing that you had? To oh, well, the most uncomfortable thing was, I suppose, was uh, being the singing barber. That was the, 
That was, but anyway, we're going to do that again. I'm, I'm more comfortable with the idea now, so we're going to, we're going to do that again and, and probably do it more regularly. Um, just, just for folks who don't know you, um, you've got quite a name as a, as a country and western and uh, uh, a singer in, in the Brisbane area. Yeah, I do. I'm, I, I do have a pretty good reputation in that area. I just uh, uh, never thought I'd connect it with the barbershop business. So uh, that was. It just felt a bit uncomfortable standing out the front of the shop with my guitar. But anyway, um, yeah. So that was a bit uncomfortable, and also doing the ads uh, in front of the camera. It's a little little bit uncomfortable. I've never been very good at self promotion, and. Uh, so being told that I had to do it, well, you know, I agreed that I would do what I was told, so, so I just did it. But the more you do it, the the less uncomfortable it becomes. Oh, yeah, look, I'm, I'm an expert now. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I'm happy to do it now. No drama at all. In fact, we've, we've, we're uh, uh, filming. My wife's actually um, uh, getting a hair colour and cut and so on, and got one of the girls filming her as she's going through the process and then later on I'm going to do another ad uh, for loyalty program for the for the uh, the blokes uh, so yeah uh, so I'm looking forward to doing it now and there you go and and I often hear from uh, from salon and spa owners and business owners oh, I'm not very good on camera and I'm too nervous and I don't look good enough I mean you know, people listening to this wouldn't know, John, but, uh, you know, you, you don't have to be a Brad Pitt to, to uh, put yourself in front of your business, do you? No, not really. I, I don't think it makes, I don't think it matters that much, you know. Like, I'm, you know, uh, not a young spring chicken anymore, but, uh, and that used to bother me a little bit, um, you know, because you think, oh, well, the young blokes like getting their hair cut by an old bloke. Well, Guess what? They love it because uh, uh, they know that come with that old bloke comes many years of experience, and they're probably, you know, and let's face it, the popular styles today are the ones we did our, you know, bread and butter on. So uh, in the old days, so they will come to full turn. So we're really good at it. And and has this increased activity given you a, a more of a uh, enthusiasm for the business? I tell you what, that is a, that's a very good question because that is exactly what's happening. I'm more enthusiastic than I have been for a long time. I really and, am. And has that um, infiltrated your staff as well? Yes, I can see uh, results in you know in the staff that they're, they're uh, you know bouncing around a bit more than usual, and uh, you know yeah, I think people are starting to. Uh, Stunned to, to respond to the stimulation, I suppose. So, and it must it must rub off on your customers too when they see you being enthusiastic. Oh, it definitely does. You know, Saturdays uh, in in particular uh, are are a great day because uh, the customers know they're not at work. You know, they're not just rushed from work. You know, and so on. So they're in a really relaxed mood. And uh, we get the banter going on Saturdays between the between the barbers, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun on Saturdays. I particularly love Saturdays, but uh, you know, Friday afternoon through the, and through that weekend, you know, uh, it's a real buzz in a barber shop. If you get that, you know, that banter going between the barbers and the customers, and everybody's just having a great time. And it makes it a fun place to come to, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. And they're not yeah. just coming for a haircut. No. They're coming no. for a bit of entertainment for now. Well, well, we, you know, they, we have comments and, you know, and, and some of the reviews on Google and Facebook, re, you know, uh, refer to the banter that goes on, you know. <laughs> Especially, you know, those two old buggers uh, going at it, me and Pat. But, uh, yeah, uh, we, uh, we all have a crack. We all have a crack. Fantastic! Look, if uh, folks, if you want to, uh, if you want to have a look at what uh, John uh, is doing in terms of marketing, uh, just uh, look up uh, Abbott's Barbershop on Facebook, uh, Abbott's Barbershop, or uh, and uh, go to the website. Uh, the website is abbottsbarbershop.com. Pretty simple. 
So uh, keep doing it, John. Keep yeah, mate. The, Definitely. The, the aim is to be 20% up on your, on your good years. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there for sure. Thanks, John. Righto. Thanks, Greg.